Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Avorian and we are talking torpedoes. Now I don't normally talk about, probably should have talked about this a long time ago, but I'm not a big torpedo user, so it's kind of one of those deals, yeah. But we'll talk about it now just because, you know, there's people that have asked me about torpedoes and if they're any good. Where do you get to per torpedoes? Well, you get them at equipment docks. So we're going to roll in here next to the equipment dock and we're going to look at some torpedoes. We're also going to talk about defensive torpedoes or how to defend against them, how to get away from them, that kind of stuff. Now, uh, I'm not going to go through a whole bunch on these torpedoes. If you really want to watch a good video on torpedoes, uh, Gary007 has a YouTube channel where he does a total breakdown of torpedoes, and he shows you exactly what they all do and what the uh, warheads versus the bodies mean and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so go watch that. I'm, not, I'm just going to give you a general rundown. Uh, his is way more in-depth than mine. Torpedoes are classified as, for example, this is a tandem torpedo. Now, they are broke down in two different ways. They are the warhead, which is the tandem torpedo, tandem here, and the nuclear, that's the warhead. And then there's the class, which is the stingray class, the oscillat class, and the orca class. Uh, so you can have an oscillat with a nuclear torpedo, uh, or an orca with a tandem. Uh, what these are is the the oscillate, the orca, and the stingray class is simply the body of the torpedo. So that means range, maneuverability, acceleration, speed. Um, the warhead, of course, is the damage or the shield damage. So you can get a mixed match of all that kind of stuff. If you look at them, uh, to, uh, torpedoes will do it just about anything. There's fusion, there's nuclear, there's some that are, for example, the kinetic. Uh, is If you fire it at long range, the faster it's going, the more damage it does. There's ones that um, penetrate shields. There's ones that take down shields. So there's a mix match of all different kinds of warheads uh, and bodies. Once again, go watch his video. He does a way better rundown of actually the uh, versions of bodies and warheads, but we're not talking about that here. We are just talking about using torpedoes, defending against torpedoes, and that kind of stuff. So we buy torpedoes here at the equipment dock. Uh, before we do that, we are going to look at what we're going to do to our ship. Now this is a, this ship is my standard go-to use for everything type of ship. Uh, it, why? Because I have this area in here that I've, when I built this ship, I was like, all right, so I'm, I want to be able to use it as a carrier, I want to use it as a scout ship, I want to use it as a torpedo boat, whatever. Uh, and this is just a simple plug and play. So I just take the centerpiece off here. So I can put a big, huge cargo area in here. Or in this case, I'm putting s s torpedo storage. Uh, and that is one of these bricks right here says Trinium Torpedo Storage. We're going to use that one. Now, with these tor torpedo storage, uh, they'll be kind of oddball looking. They'll be, yeah, they'll be yellow. The thing about torpedo storage is that you'll notice over here, it'll give me torpedo storage capacity 1732. Now, there is a roughly about, I think it's 4,000. Uh, once you get above 4,000, that's about the most amount of torpedo storage you can have. So we're just going to drop another one in there. So we're at 5,100. I'm above my probably the max amount of storage I can have for a torpedo. What that does brings up the torpedo icon right here, and it'll give you a chance to put in up to 10 shafts, which is a separate block. Uh, the blocks for the torpedo launchers. Uh, if you use, for example, iron, you can only put four torpedoes in that shaft. I think titanium six, neonites maybe ten, trinium's uh, twelve or whatever. So, you, so the higher material you go until you get to avorian. I think avorian is twenty plus torpedoes in a shaft. So to, avorian is the, the the shaft that carries the most amount of torpedoes. And that's not your your storage, but that's how many torpedoes you have ready to launch. So we're going to use torpedo. We're going to use the Ivorian <coughs> torpedo shaft in this video. Of course, you can. You might not have to. Now, I can only. It doesn't have to be. It can be that single block right there. Um, yeah, that that's all the shaft that you need. It doesn't even have to be hooked to the storage. You can place it anywhere on your ship. But you'll notice the arrow here. Um, there we go. Uh, so the torpedo will come out of the ship sideways and then turn and go forward. Or you can reverse it and make it go back down, backwards, whatever. Uh, I suggest that you make sure you do this. 
<laughs> there is nothing in its way because it will run into it and explode. Or if you're moving, maneuvering wildly when you fire a torpedo, sometimes you will hit your own torpedo. Uh, what we're going to do here is I like to do forward and reverse. I like to two forward torpedoes, two back. Of course, you can use all ten. You can make, put up to ten torpedo uh, shafts on your ship. But we're going to do. There's one. We'll put him right there. And then we're going to put one on the other side facing forward. And there is our second shaft. So now I have two torpedo shafts shooting forward. And I'm also going to use two in the rear. Why do I use the rear? This is one of the uh, easiest ways to, when you fire torpedoes, to hit a target. Torpedoes are kind of iffy, depending on the maneuverability of it. Um, anything under 10 kilometers is, can kind of be a turkey shoot. Anything under 5 kilometers is really going to be a turkey shoot because you're going to, torpedoes might not turn fast enough to hit the target. So you're looking at that between the 10 and 25 kilometer range is where you're kind of your sweet spot when you're trying to shoot torpedoes at something. So we're going to put this one and we're going to make him face rear. Um, as soon as I hit the right one, there we go. Alright, so he's faced rear. And we're going to put this one on the other side, facing rear. Oops. All right, so we're going to face. So we have two torpedoes, or four torpedo tubes, two facing forward, two facing backwards. And we're going to cluster them. Um, so we're going to put the first set at one, and the second set at two. Do you believe that is right? So our four torpedoes. Um, we are going to load the shafts, which consists of, for example, these these two are already loaded. Uh, we are going to load the second shaft, which is you can use. Uh, essentially, you click on the torpedo and you hit the number three. We'll load the third shaft, and then we'll load the fourth shaft. I'm sorry, we'll have to change that up here. So we got. Okay, so all the shafts are loaded. So one and two are the forward, three and four are the rear. So we're going to have to change that on our, I'm sorry, on our ship here. So these are the ones, these will be the twos. Okay, and then we're going to turn them on and off as we, depends on what we need. We are also loading the shaft is once you have the torpedoes in here, you can change. Um, so you don't have to do this manually every time. So we can tell this thing to load nuclear. We can tell this one to load fusion. We can tell this one to load ion, depends on what you're doing. We can tell this one to, uh, yeah, nuclear, and it'll reload <coughs> according to what you tell it to load in the shaft. So you don't have to do this manually. You can do, I did it the old way, the way it used to be before they made this change. But once you, you can tell the, what type of um, torpedo you want in which tube. Which depends, of course, on what you're doing. I usually use two torpedoes when I fire uh, every time. Um, for example, one and two I might put, or one I might put something that does damage to shield, or one and two I might do something damage with shields, three and four facing forward might be for uh, taking down the hull. So you're going to have to mix match depending on what you're shooting at and how you want to set up your torpedoes. But yeah, there's ability to, um, you know, say your first, your first batch of torpedoes takes the shield out, the second batch takes out the hull, depending on what kind of torpedoes you have. I like tandems because they do damage to both. Some of them only do more damage to shields, and some of them only do more damage to hull. So you're going to have to play around. You're going to have to look at each individual. <coughs> For example, this one does more shield damage. This one down here does more shield damage. Uh, this one does a lot more shield damage. So there's there's you know there's the different types here. This is a tandem, which means it both does about the same average damage to shields and hull. So we've got our torpedoes loaded. Uh, and we're ready to rock and roll to go get a target. Now, dealing with torpedoes, there's a couple different ways to do it. One, the easiest way to do it is speed. Just fly faster than the torpedoes, which are roughly around the highest end ones are over 5,000 meters. 5,500 meters, I think, is the fastest. Uh, the slowest are usually right around 3,500 meters. This one's at 4,500 meters. That one's at 45, 45. That one's at 45. That one's at 3,500. I think the fastest they go up to is 25. 
are 55. So the fastest, the easiest way to get a turbo weighted torpedo is just be faster than it, which means even if you're 10 kilometers away and your top speed is only 4,500 under boost, you should still be able to pull away from that torpedo because you have a 10 kilometer head start and it only has a 35 kilometer range. Or just simply be fast enough to simply outrun everything anyway. The other option defending against torpedoes is, of course, is the maneuvering, where you're going uh, this speed, and then you you change direction, and then you uh, boost that direction, and you're wildly changing directions here. It's hard for the torpedo to lock onto you, especially depending on the torpedo. Uh, the less maneuverable ones will just simply overshoot. So you can see here, I'm just simply changing directions as I go, left, right, up, down, uh, speed changes, that kind of stuff. We'll throw the torpedo off most of the time. Still might get, occasionally get hit depending on what you're doing. The third option versus torpedoes is of course <coughs> turrets. Uh, forward fire turrets. So if you're facing against the torpedoes as you come in you can pick them off with your forward firing turrets. I've picked off more firing forward <coughs> with my own guesstimation than I have ever had with uh, PDCs. <coughs> Excuse me, point defense cannons. However we are going to put point defense cannons on here. Uh, for science and all that kind of stuff. We have a couple here. We're going to put some triple point defense cannons on here. We're going to put one. Oh, what do I have? Nine slots. What are these? One slot apiece. So we're going to put one on each corner here. Oops. That one's got to be made out of Ivorian. Whole block. There we go. All right. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one there. And we're going to put... So that's they're they're forced they're facing forward and if you are flying that direction they'll fly over the back. However, if you're going to use point defense, you can use lasers too. There's a point defense lasers, um, both kind of do everything here. So we're going to put one one laser beam, one point defense laser, uh, right there. Oh, those are Avorians. Oh, Zanians. What else we got here? Oganite. So let's just, oops, we need to change that. And we'll use those as our um, placement for point defense cannons. And we'll put the point defense laser on the corner here, one there, and so that'll be our rear facing one, and we'll put the other point, another point defense laser here. So we have four of them, and what we're going to do here is one lined out. Uh, each turret, usually these point defense cannons have the ability to, uh, specifically, I'm sorry, uh, they'll be self independent targeting. If they're independent targeting then you're going to be able to do it. So almost all point defense cannons um, have independent targeting. Um, why is that important? Because you're going to be able to <coughs> hover over it and we're going to assign the block. We can tell it attack target, auto fire, and we're going to turn it on defense fighters and torpedoes. So now those point defense cannons are going to fire automatically at uh, any torpedo or fighter they run into and we should be good to go fortunately I don't think we have enough nope we gotta go pick up a a couple more gunners and then we're gonna go jump into a fight here kind of a little bit longer video here than I wanted to do but a lot of stuff to go over here so what do we got And we're gonna set. We're gonna go into the first chunk here, which are some. Oops. There we go. Right there. We're gonna jump into that fight. And we're gonna use torpedoes. We're gonna first gonna do the evasion, and we're gonna let the point defense cannons work on the torpedoes as they are inbound. As soon as we pick up some gunners here. Alright, 
Let's pick up our crew, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're going to jump for that sector, which I know has pirates in it, and if you once you knock out the first wave, the second wave will come, which will be torpedo firing pirate ships. Let's get what we're looking for here to get the Neonite region. So we're going to jump in here. All right, so what do we got? We got a couple savage pirates. Now, this sector has got a bunch of crap in it, and it's not the best. So we're going to turn on our forward firing tubes. Um, we're going to close our distance to... Our first set is uh, 30 kilometers. Yep, 30 kilometers. So we're going to have to get within 30 kilometers. Hitting stationary targets are usually pretty easy. We're going to dell this fight out away from that asteroid field because I can't see it very well. So we're going to get a little further out as soon as we start scoring some hits here. Stationary targets, so torpedoes work pretty well against, you know, obviously, uh, there goes our first set away uh, against, uh, you know, stations. However, hitting ships aren't, isn't too, always that hard either. There's our first hit. <laughs> There's our, we're going to fire another set at our second one. And we'll just fire for effect on the third one. Or the third one, you know what, let's pick up this, the other one too as well. Alright, so these guys are going to be knocked out here. Here comes our ones behind us. Alright, so we've knocked out four of those pirates. Pretty easy, right? Well, they're all stationary. However, this is where it gets a little more interesting. <coughs> we have a Marauder, some regular. So now these guys are moving pretty quick here, and you're going to see one of the problems with trying to hit. It's, yeah, they probably have PDCs themselves. Yeah, and so the point defense is not easy to nail. All right, so we're flying through soup here. We're going to switch to the... Uh, rear-facing torpedoes, because I like rear-facing torpedoes, because usually if you get them in a chase, which is what we're going to do right here, we're going to fire at that range. Uh, oops, I didn't have anything clicked there. Let's slow down a little bit here, let me catch up. Alright, because they're usually coming hard uh, at you. So they're in the chase like this, they're not moving, maneuvering, so they're just coming straight after you. <laughs> a lot of times it's easy to make these shots. There's a one hit. This one's right on my tail. Um, yeah, we're going to see if we can pick up this guy. Yep, there we go. We get at least one good hit on him. And we'll drop another one on him. See, the deflection on the torpedoes isn't much. They're flying pretty much straight backwards, so it's not a hard shot, not a hard hit to hit them in the reverse. That one really has some really decent... Um, there you go. He, they did return and come back and be able to hit him. That one right there has some really decent PDC, so he's going to be a tough one. So we're going back to our front one, and this is the other option when you're fighting something like this, <coughs> is the head-on, very fast approach. And that means coming at them, and then when you get within 15 kilometers firing, yeah, you're almost not guaranteed a hit, but for the most part, they do not have enough time to react, uh, and it's usually an easy kill like that. However, a cat like this, with all that PDCs, this is one of those things that makes it real hard with torpedoes if something has good point defense <coughs> to knock out. And we'll try here again. We're just going to go really fast at him. About 15 kilometers, we're going to launch. And you can see that he killed both of my torpedoes because his PDCs are that good. So he's not going to be something that we're going to easily be able to kill with torpedoes. In fact, it's kind of a waste. Uh, we're going to have to switch the guns to kill him. And this is one of the downfalls of using torpedoes against enemy ships. Is if you get a one ship, for example, that has really good uh, point defense cannons, uh, he's going to do wonders on you. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get one of these guys to fire some torpedoes at us. They're inbound, I think. 
Yeah, tough pirate. Uh, how far out are you? Is he 131 kilometers? Alright, so we're just going to mosey on by this guy here, and we're going to get into another fight. So the for, uh, forward torpedoes are open, or up. And since he's not, he's coming straight at me. This is going to probably be a pretty easy, decent kill. We're going to get a little bit closer. And... There we go. Alright, so now our point, so he's firing at us. Our point defense cannons have opened up. If you fly relatively flat and level, uh, and with, you know, within the firing range of your point defense cannons, you will, for the most part, pick up uh, the enemy torpedoes. He is sitting, uh, he is stopped, so it's going to be an easy kill. Well, it should have been an easy kill. Point defense aren't always necessarily, so even at f three or four kilometers, <laughs> we killed him. Kind of not an easy shot sometimes when you're that close. A lot of times the torpedoes will miss and go around, <laughs> and they'll curve around and come back to the object here. So we're going to make a pass here at this guy, speeding up so he doesn't get a chance, and we're going to fire as we go by, and we killed him. That's typically the two best ways I've found with torpedoes, is either the forward, just skim by them at high speeds, 15 kilometers launch, they don't have time to react, or in the stern chase where um, they are flying f straight after you. A flat out and they don't maneuver. These guys have all PDC cannons so I don't really have much chance. I'll eventually have to kill them, them <coughs> with regular cannons. So with that said guys I kind of hope this explained how torpedoes work and how to use them and of course the defenses that you have to use against torpedoes uh, and all that kind of stuff. So with that said guys thanks for watching and have a good night.